is not over yet. Not by a long shot. Monsters have evolved and adapted to our planet. If the infection gets bad enough, planet fusion will absorb our world. All right, everyone. Next stop, Hero Square Sector V. receiving me. Oh, hey, it's Prizzy, coming to you from the front lines. It's a real mess out here, so I don't have much time to talk. Welcome to the first official Fusion Fall Legacy live event. I'm Prizzified, and I'm here to give you the rundown on what's coming your way. This live event is the wrap-up of our week of devlog, so I hope you guys have been enjoying the influx of brand new info. The following is a pre-recorded video presentation filled with juicy new details about both Fusion Fall Legacy and the original Fusion Fall. Expect some neat details and exclusive reveals. Right after the presentation is over, we'll begin a live stream where you can hang out with us and ask us questions about the game. As always, we'd like to thank you for being patient. Recreating the MMO with such a small team is no easy task. I've got to get back to fighting Fuse's goons, so let's kick things off. Did you know? Initial development of Fusion Fall began all the way back to around 2003, when Chris Waldron, executive producer of Fusion Fall, had begun internal talks about developing a large-scale MMO with his team. It wasn't until 2006 that Cartoon Network made a deal with Korean game company Gregan Entertainment to develop an MMO featuring various Cartoon Network IPs. While initially skeptical about allowing Cartoon Network's game division to tackle something so huge, Toontown, Disney's answer to a similar style MMO, had recently released and had proven to be a hit. Toontown's success was a contributing factor to greenlighting Fusion Fall's development. Fusion Fall released in 2009, a full three years after its initial greenlight. The Fusion Fall team actually switched game engines near last minute. While a lot of Fusion Fall was developed using Gamebryo, a game engine most notable for recent Fallout games, Research showed that a client-based game was probably not going to succeed. As a result, a deal was made with Unity to port over assets and work to make a browser-based experience. This was the first time Unity had been used to make a large-scale game, and as a result, many features that are now Unity staples were originally created to get Fusion Fall up and running. The Ben 10 series' representation in the final version of Fusion Fall was vastly different than the developers originally intended. In early footage and press release images, 10-year-old Ben from the original series can be seen, 
as opposed to the Alien Force version seen in the final game. This change was likely made as a result of his quick spark in popularity when the series aired. Still, icons and even a few models and voice clips for the original series were present, left unused in the final game. While it remains unknown what powers the unused Young Ben Nanos would have had, Upgrade, Ghost Freak, and Young Ben have a few power animations left over. There is evidence to support Young Ben had a jump power, as indicated by his power use voice clip, where he shouts, Jump Power. Jump Power! High jumps rule! Jump! Interestingly, the voice is provided by Yuri Lowenthal instead of Tara Strong. Dookie, while giving no missions himself, actually had two separate lines recorded for his Want a Mission? dialogue. Want a Mission? Hey, uh, you might be able to help me out. This is strange, as nearly every other NPC only had one line when giving out a mission. One of Princess Bubblegum's dialogue clips actually features Hendon Walsh, the voice actress for Princess Bubblegum, receiving a note from a voice director and preparing for her line shortly before saying it. Okay. I have a truly heroic task for you. Many of the characters added late in Fusion Fall's life feature several takes of certain voice lines. It is unknown why the developers included these in the game. Is that you, Gunter? Oh, it's you. Is that you, Gunter? Oh, it's you. Fusion Fall Heroes didn't start out under the Fusion Fall name. The game was originally conceived as a quick, year-long project with no specific theme. While under development, several ideas were pitched, including turning it into an Adventure Time game which later spawned Adventure Time Battle Party. Later spawned... <laughs> Fusion Fall was chosen as the skin of the game simply because Fusion Fall was one of Cartoon Network's more popular brands at the time. Many fans of the original Fusion Fall title were upset by the release of Fusion Fall Heroes. According to Brad Merritt, producer of Fusion Fall Heroes, a lot of people were mad it wasn't Fusion Fall 2, but we sort of anticipated that. It's like a team-based beat-em-up? A more conservative offering. Fusion Fall Heroes was never intended to replace the original game and was entirely made as a separate entity before being skinned with Fusion Fall locations and characters. There are plenty more Fusion Fall facts we'd love to share. If you like this video, let us know in the forums. See y'all next time! Hello everyone, I'm Funsky, one of the programmers here at Fusion Fall Legacy. I'm here to show off some brand new combat footage. Combat isn't complete yet, so please excuse any missing sounds or effects. For the most part, combat is the same as it was in the original game. We've got a few tricks up our sleeves to make things interesting and new, but we'll be showing those off at a later date. If you didn't notice already, there is now a separate version of each song for when the player is in combat. This helps to make combat feel more intense. If you happen to prefer the original style of music, you can change that in the settings. As you can see, you can equip up to two weapons at a time, just like in the original game. You can switch between weapons with the tab key. Melee weapons, like the lightning sword, require you to get close up and personal with the baddie you're fighting, but they can hit multiple targets. Don't let the enemies take you off guard. When enemies die, they turn back into fusion matter, which you automatically collect. When you get enough of it, you will be given a nano mission. You can also earn fusion matter by doing missions and other activities throughout the game. That's all the time we have for right now, but we hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek at combat. Up next is, uh, well, it's something anyway. That does not sound good. Hey everyone, 
I'm Dogon, creative director of Fusion Fall Legacy. I thought I would show off a bit of the redesigned KND training area in Vected Zone. You'll notice that while we kept a lot of the aesthetics the same, we've changed up the layout a bit. We decided to make the area feel more dangerous, with pits of fusion matter engulfing parts of the infected zone. As you can see, the unfinished house in the original is still intact, but instead of traveling above it on platforms, you now walk through it. This is the first infected zone you'll go through, so you'll be able to clear the jumps here pretty easily. This area is where things get interesting. Some of the more skilled players will be able to take shortcuts and find alternate paths through this central area. For players with less experience, we've laid out an easier route to take. After crossing this pit, you'll find Fusion Number 2's lair to the right. We're not quite done setting up his warp yet, hence the lack of tentacles coming out of the portal. You then make your way across this gap and... Congrats! You've survived a full run-through of the K&D training area infected zone! There's plenty of secrets to find. I hope you'll enjoy exploring the world we spent so much time recreating. Catch you later! Welcome to Fusion Ball Legacy Need Feats! I'm your host, Wilt Tilt, coming to you live from Sector 5. This is the segment where we point out small little details that really resonate with us. First off, look to the trees. No, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. Those leaves are blowing around in the wind. We made sure not to leave this little detail out. A first for Fusion Ball. And look on the ground. Are those shadows moving? Lights, camera, action, real-time lighting. Check out these shadows, made possible by recent Unity developments. Fascinating! Say, what's this? Wavo? I don't think so! That terrafuser is on the move! This alien apparatus pumps fusion matter into the ground! Best to steer clear of these devilish devices! They'll squeeze out those tricky no-good fusion spawns, so prepare for a scuffle! Safety first! It looks like the Legacy team has installed crosswalks all over the neighborhood. While those crafty kids next door are hard at work protecting the neighborhood from those creepy creeps, it's nice to know they'll be safe when crossing the street. Now that's the bee's knees! This has been Wilt Tilt, live from Sector 5, with neat feats. Thanks for tuning in! Coming up next, a special announcement from Hot Off The Presses! Here I come, stupid! 
Want a mission? Go get him! See you next time. Nice weather we're having. Adios, amigo. Hey there, friend. I guess you got better things to do. Hey, it's number two. Take the dog! Want a mission? Great job! See you next time. Ever since the beginning, there were eight. But one stood out from the rest. His silhouette was like super obvious. He has like a super distinct shape, and uh, everyone like knew exactly who it was. But today is the day we finally reveal. Attention campers, attention campers, it's time for Camp Lazlo. <laughs> That surface looks dangerous. Maybe if I stand here long enough, the formula will find me. This is better than canned bread. I don't like the look of that goo. I will just use this changing tent here to change into my bathing suit.
have to admit, this world is a pretty amazing place. I mean, what's not to love? Mutant toddlers, imaginary friends, giant robots, child geniuses, Evos, cryptids, that guy. Not to mention your occasional alien hero. Sure, we have our fair share of danger. The occasional evil mastermind or tyrannical monkey set on ruling the world. Still, none of us were prepared when Planet Fuse arrived, ready to consume our world. Can you hear me in there? Thank you for volunteering for this important time travel experiment. I'm going to need you to input your profile into the system before we begin. Stand by and I'll bring it up on your monitor. 